short. And although people may have not been so excited when this fight was first announced, the excitement built with the addition of Teddy Atlas. And as we've got closer and closer, you see 12,500 people inside this arena for what very well could be the best fight of the three fights between Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited too. I've done a lot of world title fights, so this is just exciting as any of us. Tim Bradley makes his way in. Three-time world champion, former WBA and WBO world champion, long amateur career. Turned pro in uh, 09, 131 straight fights, did big wins over Lamont Peterson, Devin Alexander, Joel Casamayo, and of course the first one against Manny Pacquiao. One of the most unbelievable fights in his career against Ruslan uh, Provetnikov. Since then, he's 2-1-1 one one with wins over Jesse Vargas and Brandon Rios and a draw with Diego Chavez. And that, of course, picks him with a loss to uh, Manny Pacquiao. He's a very athletic guy, very tough. Here he is, Tim Bradley. Training has been intense under Teddy Atlas. He's aggressive, but he's going to be smart in the ring. He knows he doesn't have one punch knockout power. He won KO in his last 17 fights. And it is amazing the synergy between Bradley and Teddy Atlas. I mean, they are like one unit. I mean, and their belief in each other is so strong. Teddy, both you and I have known Teddy for what, 25, 30 years? And I never, to the, to the last fight that I saw him work with him, realized what a sensitive guy and how intense he is with the fights that he's trained. They worked on a lot of film to uh, develop a plan with Teddy for uh, Pacquiao. And he says, I got to stay in my game plan. And Rich, what do you say about the fighting 36 minutes? 36 minutes. All I got to do is focus for 36 minutes. From the opening bell, minute at a time, 36 minutes, and I'll get to where I want to be. Win every round, round by round, each round better than the last. And that's very, very important because I expect there'll be some very close rounds in this fight, and that's where controversy can come in. For Manny Pacquiao, on the other hand now, it's a different kettle of fish. This could be his last fight. His family wants him to give it up. He's, as you know, using this as maybe a springboard for his election for the Senate in uh, uh, the Philippines. He's a sure future Hall of Famer. Surgery on his right shoulder. He's got the distraction of running for the Philippines in the Senate. You know, yeah, interesting, go ahead. interestingly enough, Bob Arum, the promoter of this fight, top rank, did not promote this as Manny's last fight. Yeah, he didn't want to say that he would be lying to the fans because, you know, fighters do change their mind all the time. And look, we've talked to Manny Pacquiao. And sometimes he says, if it is, he seems a little wishy-washy at times. Freddie's right. like, I'm not so sure. So what does Bob Arum look like saying it is and then having not the fighter is even definitively saying that? Well, Bob is trying to set the record straight and keep the record straight. But I thought when we were talking to the fighters yesterday, Jim Lampley did everything he could possibly do. He's the local announcer here in the United States to try, try to drag it out of Manny Pacquiao that he would fight again. And all Manny would do was laugh about it. Yeah, and Manny said, you know, I've got a pretty good IQ. I know what you're doing. <laughs> but Manny believes so much in his faith and puts a lot into God's hands. So uh, with that being said, I think only he'll know when's the right time to retire. Well, he's had real good sparring with this. He's had no cramps in his legs. So the layoff, in, in, in a way, gave him a new enthusiasm for boxing. He's worked very, very hard in his body conditioning for this fight. He's a very intense guy. He's a very quick fight. And interesting enough, he's a very good friend of Tim Bradley. Bradley was uh, a strong exponent of him uh, winning his election in the Philippines, which... Manny wouldn't talk about because he said uh, the election rules are very strict over there. And it's not something he wants to talk about. All he wanted to talk about was the fight. So we'll give him that break. The welterweight champions, of course, are Jesse Vargas of the WBO, Kel Brooks of the IBF, Danny Garcia, the WBC, and Keith Thurman of the WBA. Either one of these guys could be fighting either one of those guys. So for Tim Bradley, it's a... A career-defining moment for him. 
for Manny Pacquiao, should it be his final fight? It'll determine that uh, you know the one and one shouldn't be there. Well, and it's so it's not really career defining for Manny the way it might be for Tim. His career has been defined long before tonight. Oh yeah, I mean he's definitely a future Hall of Famer. Lupe Contreras is standing by, and we'll have this one underway for you momentarily. Here's Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas. Once again, proudly presented to you by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with MP Promotions, being sponsored by La Cerveza Tecate, Born Bold. The new movie, Hands of Stone, the true story of Roberto Duran, starring Edgar Ramirez, Robert De Niro, and Usher Raymond in theaters this August. Breckenridge Distillery, and our host, the MGM Grand Las Vegas. These bouts are being sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman is Anthony Marnell III. Executive Director Bob Bennett, Commissioners at Ringside Skip Avancino, Francisco Aguilar, Pat Lundball, and Sean Martin. When the bell rings, the three judges in charge of scoring are Burke Clements, Dave Moretti, 